Hello, welcome to Border Bananas. Uh, my name is Jamie and this is a Fun Finds Friday video where I show you the things that I've been purchasing retail uh, that I don't show in my thrift vlogs. Now I haven't done a lot of retail shopping. Um, oh, I am missing a pair of pants though, so I'll have to go get that. Um, but uh, some of it is, you know, clothing and home decor and all that jazz. So if that's what you're interested in, stay tuned. Since I've mentioned the pants that I forgot to bring in, I will show you them first. They're right here. They are the American Eagle brand. They have the rough edges at the bottom, um, the frayed edges, I should say, unfinished. Uh, and they just look like this. I bought them from ThreadUp. Um, it's an online furniture clothing um, store where it's all secondhand, very gently or new item, very gently used or new items. And um, so I cannot, <laughs> I have a hard time, let's just put it that way, finding item art, articles of clothing, specifically pants, for myself at Goodwill because they no longer have try-on rooms at our locations. So I decided I'm just gonna order it from ThreadUp. I did order three pair of jeans, two pair of black jeans and a couple of different sizes and neither one of them fit me properly. So I did send them back to ThreadUp and um, there is a $1.99 restocking fee and you can choose to have your money refunded or just to have credit and I chose to have credit um, on my account so I can go ahead and order you know another pair of jeans or whatever um, that may fit. I have I have a search going for a pair of Dansko clogs and a pair of Taos sneakers I think I'm saying that right Taos T-O-A-S so um, I, they are very hard to find though so <laughs> I am looking for those but um, I did pay for these pants myself. Thread up has no idea who I am. Uh, but if you do, I do have a link down in my description box. If you choose to use that link and order clothing, you will get $10 off and I will also get $10 credit. You will get $10 credit. I will get $10 credit and that's just how it works. So, but I thought I would share those with you because I really enjoy them. And I think they always have... 50% off and free shipping on your first order. So 50% off and free shipping plus $10 off. I think that's a good deal. And that's exactly what I did. <laughs> okay, so um, yeah, I got those pants. Uh, I'm gonna stick with the fashion. Um, I went to TJ Maxx and found a really cute hat. It's Nine West. I can't remember. I think it was like $12. And it just looks like this. You guys, I am a hat girl, especially spring through fall. In the wintertime, I end up wearing a toque. But, you know, they're not very fashionable. Although some people think they are. They just make me look old, I think. But this is the way I look in my hat. I love it so much. So cute. <laughs> I loved it. I just love hats, right? So, um, like... Uh, yeah, so I grabbed this. It has, it's like a white with a, like a, a dusty blue and there's actually even like a natural color wo wo woven through there. <laughs> wow, that was hard for me to say. And it has the nice little um, dusty blue uh, brim with a knot there or ribbon with a knot. There we go. I'll say that. I'll get it up correctly. Um, but I just love this hat so much. I think it is so cute. My hair is a little poofy for it today. My hair, good beach hat because my hair is naturally wavy, right? So just throw it on over my over my beach hair and it'll be fine. Um, so it doesn't get fr frizzy. There we go. <laughs> Woo! Words are hard today. Um, I, I also found a pair of Lucky Brand sunglasses. Now I have a pair of sunglasses that I leave in my car. They're pink, I think they're like Jessica Simpson. Also from TJ Maxx that I got either last year or the year before. My problem is, is I will put them in my car and then I'll be wearing them and then when I go into a store, I'll put them on my head or whatever and I'll forget that I have them on and I'll wear them into the house and forget them on the table. So I keep these ones in my bag. <laughs> These are brand new uh, from TJ Maxx, Lucky Brand, and they're so cute. They look like this on. 
love them so much. Uh, yeah, not much I can say. I am a tortoise shell girl. I love tortoise shell over black any day. Uh, I think black is too harsh uh, on me. I'm so fair, you guys. <laughs> Every color of foundation I've ever bought has always been the lightest color, and sometimes it's too yellow or sometimes it's too dark. <laughs> so makes me orange. But yeah, I love these guys. Uh, then I made a few Amazon pur purchases. I saw my friend Danielle from Homemade Vintage put this, use this in her, one of her videos and I immediately clicked off her video, went and bought it and then went back to watching her video because I have never seen anything like this and I think it is so cool. It's called a Hangomatic and it's like this little gadget here. Well, first it comes like this because these are sharp, right? So it comes like this and it's protected and it, and you take this off and then you match these little points here. Let's see, those little points, this one and this one, and you match them up to the little triangle things on whatever it is you're holding or where the screw goes, like on a shelf or whatever, and you match it up to the center of those, and then you can just take your level and move it to the center, put this on the wall and stick it, and so that the bubble is center, let's see if I can get a center. There we go, not that you can see that. And then stick it and your holes are marked where your screws need to go. And I just thought, oh my gosh, that is what I need. Genius, genius little tool. I love it so much. <laughs> so thanks Danielle for introducing me because that was really cool. I love this thing. I'm going to come in handy when I hang my gallery wall. Okay, next thing I found was, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see these, but they're these little horseshoe shaped ringlets there. I'll take them out. Uh, these, you know what? I'm going to tell you what they are in a minute. I'm going to hold those for a second because, and then they'll make, make a little more sense. Okay. So everybody knows I love jadeite. It's not a new thing. My friend Nicole North Garden introduced me and I am hooked now. To me, it doesn't matter if it's reproduction or if it's vintage. Um, I, you know, I especially like finding the stuff in the vintage, in the wild. Um, but if I can find stuff that's cheaper, I will do that as well. Um, so I did go ahead and purchase two of the Pioneer Woman salt shakers that came together um, on Amazon. Now, back, <laughs> Was it last fall? I can't remember. Last winter? Maybe last winter. I purchased four sets of the bowls and the cookie jar off walmart.com. No, I purchased the cookie jar off walmart.com and the four bowls in store. And when I purchased the bowls in store, they had these for $8 a piece. Well, they no longer carry them and I waited until they no longer carried them to realize I really do want them. So I had to purchase them on Amazon for twice the price, but I did get free shipping. So, you know, <laughs> I would have had to pay shipping on walmart.com if I had ordered them online anyway. So they would have been about the same price, but I love these little guys. I think they're so cute and I cannot wait to incorporate them into my home decor in my kitchen. Just, I love just adding little touches of jade here and there. I don't want my entire kitchen covered in it, but little touches with my blue and my my little bits of blue and then my all my vintage false graph and ironstone. Love it. Okay. Usually for Mother's Day, I get flowers for around the outside of my home. We just go and we go to my husband's aunt's flower shop and well, I should, should say the green shop. Green shop. <laughs> <laughs> greenhouse um, they don't just sell flowers and they and we just go get flowers for the outside of my home we fill up our, our you know flowering pots and our, we get our veggies for our garden and all that jazz but this year I didn't want to do that because we're spending more time at the land we purchased and gearing that up than we are here on the weekends which is usually when I take care of my stuff here although you know I water when water is Watering needs to be done and all that jazz, but that's besides the point. <laughs> this year instead, I decided to go ahead and buy myself a new leather purse. Last fall, I purchased a Portland Leather Goods purse um, from Portland Leather Good 
for the fall and winter time and I got the full size crossbody bag. Well, I found myself wanting a smaller bag in the summertime, in the spring, throughout the summer. And I sw had switched over to my old, what is it, like Patricia Nash or something, but the buckles on it were snapped into the lid of the bag and it fell off. It actually happened during a thrift with me and I did record that, so that's there. I think it's the one where my sister and my mom were with me. And yeah, it was. And I just like, I've had it, I need a different bag. So um, I purchased this one. This is the medium size cross body in the color honey. And it looks like this. I just love it. Yeah, this is the medium size. My other one was, it's the same size this way, but it's taller like this. So I just wanted something a little smaller and I love this stuff. Oh, it smells so good. I love it so much. Portland Leather Good Leather's Goods bag. Portland Leather Goods bags are of superb quality. Now, mine is getting all scratched up. I don't baby this. I took it fishing with me. Gabe and I had a date night and we went fishing. And we climbed down some cliffs and through, through these big rocks and I threw my bag on the rocks and <laughs> actually a bird pooped on it. <laughs> this bag has already gone through, uh, you know, H-E double hockey stick and back and it still looks so good. I don't mind the scratches. I love the look of a good worn leather bag. So, and the cool thing is, is that Portland leather goods bags are only made from the byproduct of the US beef industry. So no animals are being slaughtered for their, these bags. They're all, the, the, um, the bags are all being made of byproduct. So I was really excited about that. Um, I just, and the company is just to die for. They have shoes coming out, I'm so excited. Um, but then I did something really crazy and they have these things called mystery boxes where you can get these unicorn colors um, of really fun colors, leather bags like lilac and, and paint all different kinds of shades of pinks and reds and blues and there's so many colors that I don't even know what all the colors are that you could possibly get but that the mystery boxes are the only way you can get these colors I'm like you know what I'm just gonna order and I'll have to say that the mystery boxes are considered AP which means almost perfect which also which means <laughs> that there could be you know the the leather head stretch marks or the leather had, you can actually see like some, where uh, like an animal had gone through barbed wire or the leather had, or the animal had like a small wound or a pimple or something like that. But all of them are like that. Most of the bags that you get in AP are, well, all of the bags are marked AP in the mystery boxes, but most of them are perfect. <laughs> That's why they're called almost perfect. But this is the one I got. You guys are gonna die. Check it out. This is the mini crossbody in the color Peacock. Isn't that a gorgeous color? Now, I did find a small, actually my, my girlfriend found a small flaw. Here's my flaw right there. You have to get so close to, and the light has to hit it just right to even see it in person. So, it did have a snap and the crossbody is on the inside, but the insides are always all raw leather and it is, oh my gosh, to die for. So, I haven't used this bag yet. I can't wait to use it. I think it'll look so cute in the fall with all my browns that I wear. It's gonna be gorgeous. All right, now, the le I'll put the link to that company down in the description box. I'll also put the link to the Amazon stuff I bought down in the description box for you guys as well. Um, the TG Maxx stuff I can't, I can't do that with, but these are the little things that I was telling you about, the little horseshoe shaped things. I can't remember what the, how much these were, like five or six dollars, but these are so I can put, I can put it here and then add a charm to my bag. I really love that southwestern style with like the the teals and the turquoise with the brown leathers and the stones and I just I I adore it and I think it is so cool um, and I kind of want to do that with this bag. 
I think it would be really cool. Um, so I got these. And these just kind of, there's a little thing where you can screw it there. I don't, you're probably, it's too small. You're probably not going to be able to see that. But there's a little screw here and it just screws in and out. Oh, look, it's not even in there. So I can put it on. Yeah, Look at that. And then you can just put it on here. Let's see if I can do it. Can you see? Yes. Okay. Um, get it on there. Put the screw in and I'll just get it in there temporarily. And I'll, I'll only put one of these per bag. Uh... Get screwed in a little bit. There we go. And it'll look like that. And then have a little tassel hanging on it. I think that would be so cute. Love it so much. And I have one left over for, I don't know, maybe a new bag. <laughs> I'm so bad. But that is what I got for my Fun Finds Friday, you guys. I hope you enjoyed it and I gave you some inspiration or some ideas to uh, go take care of some of your stuff or, you know, some clothing or home decor, you know, that kind of thing. All right. Thanks guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll check you later. Bye guys.